James, cut that out, what I just did. Got it? Get it good. Welcome everyone, this is James Rye. is going to bring you, special ladies and gentlemen, a new video today. And today, we are going to talk about motivation. I'm just going to, this is a rant video, as you guys can tell from the title. I just want to splurt out a bunch of positivity to you guys that's been on my mind. That's I think it's very much needed to everyone. And just to rethink rebalance recalibrate ourselves and to just remember the things that we are worth to remember what we are capable of and to just be the best people that we could be day in and day out and try to be the best versions of ourselves daily and try to get better at that every single step of the way in this thing we call life so number one work Work for what you want. Nothing is ever going to be given to you. If you want your goals, the certain goals and dreams that you have, you have to work for them. If you want to lose weight, if you want to gain muscle, you have to work for it. If you want the perfect body in your image that your body could attain, you have to work for it. If you want that job, if you want to build your business, if you want to build that dream business, and make your dreams come a reality, you have to work for it. You just can't think it. Even though saying it to the universe is key, but there has to be action behind your words. There has to be action behind losing weight. There has to be action to gaining muscle. There has to be action to be a healthier version of yourself. You have to eat right. You have to work out hard. You have to work out right. You have to get enough sleep. You have to drink the water. You have to eat clean foods, mainly vegan. <laughs> or all vegan. Things have to be set and you have to be ready to put in that work if you really want to achieve greatness and you really want to take that next step in your life for true change. If you want to be happy in what you're doing, there has to be work behind it. There has to be action behind it. You just can't say it and hopefully one day it happens to you. It doesn't work that way. There has to be action behind your words. So that's my first point. So. The second one is kind of bouncing off the first one is put your goals into action. How I would do that, how I would approach that is write your goals down and then put like a ballpark estimate time frame, a reasonable one. It's good for us to have a, some type of time frame because it keeps us pushing. It's like a goal. Whatever we want to do, whether it's losing weight, whether it's, you know, getting a new job, whether it's exploring the world. Whatever it might be, whatever your goal is, write it down and tell yourself and write it down as well on how you think you're going to get there. What's the best path for you to achieve it? I think it's important to write things down and make sure you're seeing it on the daily. Just refresh that mind of what you have to do. Also, just don't get discouraged because life is one heck of a roller coaster and one heck of a ride. And there's many roadblocks on the way as well. So don't get discouraged if you don't hit that time frame. Just keep working and keep working and working. You will get what you want as long as you believe in it. As long as you have the right passion behind it, you'll get what you want. Next thing I like to talk to you guys about is today is the day. Stop saying I'll do it tomorrow. I'll do it next week. I'll start getting fit. I'll start my job search. I'll start living the dream. Start going after my passions next year, next month, whatever it might be. If you're truly passionate about what you want and what the change that you want in your life, you have to start now. It doesn't have to be so astronomic. It doesn't have to be such a huge thing that you're putting on your plate right now. It's just small steps. But as long as you're taking those steps forward, as long as you're applying the right kind of energy behind it, and you think you're satisfied with it at that time, do it. But stop making excuses and stop BSing and pushing things so far to the side that you said, I'll handle that later. I'll deal with that one a week, two weeks, a month, a year, whatever it is at that time. Handle it now. If you're all about it and if you're true about it and if you really want it, start now. Do it. So next one, try new things. I think this is... a a great thing for everybody travel more see new things go to new places eat new foods just try new things we only live in this life on this earth we, ha we only have this one life as we know it 
So might as well just live it up and try new things and stop putting so many barricades in front of us and saying why we can't do it. Make time for it. Explore. Eat new things. See new things. May pet a different animal, animal that you never pet before. Save lives. Do something. Make a change. I guarantee it's going to help you in the long run. It's going to change your life. Just do something new. So the next one, always be the best you. Always be the best that you can be day in and day out. Exude positive energy. Be someone you want to be around. You don't want to be negative because I, I guarantee you, you wouldn't want to be next to a negative person all day or be friends with a negative person all day. Be a positive person. Be the best you. It takes time. You have to know who you are as a person and what faults you have. And if you could change those faults, do so. But I guarantee that the world would be a better place if we just become more positive people and we become more helpful and we just become the best versions of ourselves. We just have to take the time to do so and find who you really are. Take that time. It's scary. You might need a lot of time alone to really find out who you are so you could be the best version of you. But do it. It's worth it. So next one, bouncing off the previous one, be a positive role model. You don't know who's looking. Whether it's on social media, it's out in public. You don't know the impact that you have on people. So if you're bringing down rain of negativity and you just might be raining down on people who just are looking for some hope. Or maybe you're just feeding into people who are already negative. Be a positive role model to you, first and foremost. So that person in the mirror, be a positive role model to them. And then once you get that, you will help others, either directly or indirectly, in a positive way. Be proud of who, who you are, and then people will see that, and maybe they might change their lives for, from it. I've had a lot of positive role models in my life, which I'm happy I've been able to have or experience. And it made me who I am today. And I want to keep that ball rolling and be a positive influence on you guys, to my friends and family, and to maybe people I only know who are watching. Thank you. And become it. So next one, just have fun. I think life is too short for us to be so serious all the time, so um, preoccupied with work. I think it's good to have that mindset, but it's also good to have fun. If you have fun at work, then do so. But if you need a vacation, just have fun. Experience new things. Just be happy. Smile. Laugh. Be around great energy people. Be around positive people. And just have a good time. I think it's needed. Especially if you're a person like me who likes to just be a little bit introverted on the weekends and just recharge. I think it's good to just break out of that shell and be around people that you enjoy to be with. And just have fun. I was going to say just have a little fun with people. But you can have fun with people as well. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with that. Just be who you are. Enjoy the good times, enjoy the laughs, make memories, make experiences, get off your phone for once and try to do something fun. Put your phone down and just laugh and enjoy the moment that you're living at that time. Have fun. So the next one is help people when you can. I think this is so important. If you have the ability and you have the, the needs to help somebody, do so. Whether it's just being nice and charitable, maybe donating to a, co a great cause that you know is going to help people. Or whether it's just an act of service out in public. Because if you see someone in need, maybe they're broken down on the side of the road and you can help push their car so they're not just in the middle of the road. Um, you can help push the car to get to safety so everyone is safe in the situation. And maybe traffic isn't held up. If you have the needs and you're, you are capable of doing that, do so. Or if maybe you see someone who is struggling, they bit, they just caught a bad case, maybe they just got laid off and they're just trying to look for something and maybe you can help them out. Whether it's just, you know, helping them out with some food, buying some food, or just maybe ultimately you could just take them in and say, hey, if you need a bounce back, get on your feet, I'm here for you. And you can have a place of, to live and something over your head so you could just reset and get it back together you can help as that as well i think it's needed to be helpful i guarantee we all been in that position in our life where we just maybe just need a helping hand and that could take us such a far away and we could bounce back amazingly and then those people just realize hey 
Life isn't perfect. It throws curveballs at us. And sometimes we as human beings need to help one another. Also, if you see an animal on the side of the road or something or on the road, help animals out if you see them in need. They're just like us. Help them out. Like, I have freaking dragonflies that like to get caught up in my screened area that I try to help out of there or birds or something like that. Just help them out. I guarantee it'll make you feel better. <laughs> Alright, guys. This has been James Rice with another video for you guys today. It's been kind of crazy, but just wanted to give a video for you guys just about a rant, a positivity, and just a refresh on what we could do as human beings and what we can achieve with some positivity behind us. All right, guys. Love you. Stay risen, stay rising. Until next time. Rise.